Uh, let's, okay, let's go up to his little fishing spot. Ooh. Every, every fire. Quaman is fishing. Yes, he is. <laughs> hey, Quaman, how's the fish biting? With its teeth? But not today. Why's that? Quaman be not certain. The fish always bite before, but then Quaman be having lure. Now no lure, just bait. Hmm. What yeah, do you need to make a lure? With the lure make Quaman it. can make lure with just anything. Oh. As long as it be colorful and not get heavy in water. You're a real DIY guy, don't you know? Always be something wrong with Quaman. <laughs> that was actually a compliment. Oh. I, I I think one of my favorite I think I mentioned it before, one of my favorite things about this game is the whole April would say something that's very commonplace in our world and people over in Arcadia are like Uh I I think so? I don't really know what you mean. Okay, so I had to I had to look behind me. Another interesting fact, I have a, I recently bought a copy of Fatal Frame 1 and last night I decided to play it uh, in the dark for the first time. At the time I played it with the lights on, I played it in the dark. I did not like the shadows coming out of my bedroom. Are you happy now, Quaman? Quaman be happy. He be wanting fish to bite. But if they do not, Quaman still be happy. Well, that's good. Uh, well, he kind of needs that to feed. Can I borrow eat. your fishing rod? Quaman must catch fish first. Okay. So he can eat. After Quaman catch fish, April can borrow a fishing rod. Fair enough. Happy, Happy fishing. fishing. Thank you. Alright. So now that's done. We got Quaman back in uh, good standing with the Orawald people. Now, got to do something else. The only place we can really go as of right now is the volcano. Oh, no, 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 not the volcano. I'm a dumb dumb. Uh, the large tree. Now, we fix the problem of him snoring. How do I get into the volcano? That's a good question. You don't. The road oh. collapsed a few centuries ago. Crap. And when traders come, the elation fly down to meet them. Hmm. Nobody goes up there anymore. I'll see you guys later then. If you don't step on us first. Oh. Screw you too. He's a stick man. He's a stick, He's a man? stick man. Yep. <laughs> Hi, I'm Willow. Wick's the oldest. Okay. Woody's the youngest. And I'm just stuck in the middle as always. Don't let me keep you. Wix the boss as always. Go talk to him. He sounds like Manelli. What's that his name? Yeah, the uh, police officer. Hello, I'm Woody. They call me the stupid one, cause I'm kinda slow, so don't let me keep you busy. I was born with a big brain, right. so I can't move as fast as my two brothers. I can only do useless stuff like calculations and design, and I play a few instruments, and I'm writing a book on the flora and fauna of Alaeus. Holy crap. Uh, Wick, you a dum-dum, huh? Woody's a smart one. Fuck you. He's just, you know, the nerdy, geeky one. What's this? Wooden crossbow? It's a big, wooden crossbow, I guess. I wonder who built it and what it's for. It looks more like a cannon. Like a, like a wooden cannon. That'd be kind of cool. Alright, well... There's nobody on this island that could really build that, except for Quaman or the Stickman, and the Stickman are smaller. Who built that big crossbow in the tree? I did. Ah. Well, I thought of it, and these two nincompoops gave a helping twig on the, uh, manual side. So they built it, and you supervised? Supervised. Yep, but it's not done. 
There are still a few pieces missing before we can blast off for Luna. Luna? The moon? Oh my dear sweet lord. Did you say blast off for Luna? That's what I said, Luna. As in the moon? The same. <laughs> you intend to go to the moon using that thing? Lunar cannon. And yes, that's the plan. For you guys are loonies. If by loonies you mean visionaries, then yes, yes <laughs> no. we are. I do not mean that. How come you're not working on your lunar cannon now? Because of that infernal noise is why. Wait, but Quammen has moved back to the Orlowal village. He's not going to disturb you again, trust me. Really? How the heck did that happen? Nah, I don't care. The important thing is, we can work again. Thanks, lady. No problem. As they slowly toddle off. This is going to take a while. To be fair, though, they are stickmen. They are, you know, rigid backs, rigid arms, etc. Up to go. I don't know. I I could skip it, but I'm not because I'm I like to have everything shown to show as much as possible. Now let's go back up here. Hi. Right, so how's it going? What do you need? You need something to fix it? Complete it? I bet you do. How's it going? Almost there. Oh, uh, one tiny little problem though. Uh -huh. And that is? We don't have a bowstring for our. Uh, uh, Luna cannon? Propulsion drive mechanism, Wick. That. Uh, yeah. What he said, uh, yeah, we need a bowstring. Uh, something strong and flexible and sinewy. Like what? I don't know, lady. I'm no engineer. I'm just a supervisor. String made from animal guts would be perfect. Yeah, but look at us. Do we look like the kind of stickmen who'd make good hunters? True. Do you see me going after a gank beast carrying what, a cone? A dry leaf sharpened to a razor edge? Fair point, fair point. Eh. I'd be happy to talk to you later, but I got some fine tuning to do before I'm done. Can't talk. Busy. Okay. Well, we need something. We could probably use the, uh, the fishing rod. But we don't have that. Rope probably wouldn't work. Would it? Probably not. I highly doubt it. No, not gonna work. So we need something else. And, well, he said string from Animal Guts. Well, fishing line. Uh, is typically made is you know string essentially, and fairly strong I would expect considering you have to it has to be strong enough to put up a fish. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait a minute. That's a thought. We have something that Quammen can use as a lure. Actually. We've got this candy wrapper. It's light, colorful. It won't get. It would. Well, it would absorb some water. But it won't get, like, really, really heavy. And what you doing now? Hello, Quammen. Hello, April. Happy fishing. Thank you. Hmm. Okay. Is this Could this rapper work as a lure? A different position. He's standing in Yes. Medicine. Yes, with some work. It'd be perfect for a lure. Now Quaman can make one. And hopefully catch many fish. Alright, well I'll leave you the fish. La 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 la. And we go back up. Ha ha! Looks like Quammen just had himself a solid lunch. That was quick. 
There are only bones left of his catch. That's a big fish too, jeez. Or maybe you could take some. Cause you never know when you need stuff. The remains of Quaman's catch, and a very convenient shape it is, if I may say so. Like a hook. Hey, so you caught something. Did my lore work okay? It'd be working very good. Quaman catch a large, tasty fish very quickly. April be wanting a taste? Uh, uh, nothing. No. No offense. I'm just not too fond of seafood. This not be seafood. It be human food. But I'm ching. What's Quaman gonna be doing now? Quaman be sitting here until the sun sets. Then he be going to sleep. And tomorrow? Quaman be deciding that when he wakes up in the morning. Man, you got relaxing down to a fine art. Kwama not be knowing anything about fine art. He be a Philistine. I'll see you later, Kwama. Okay. So will I. <laughs> Goodbye. What? I'm guessing now that he's done, we can... I don't figure I'll be needing the rod anytime soon, but I'll borrow the line. Alright. And now, we can use that fishing line... To hopefully fix the cannon. There we go. Uh, no, that one. There we go. That's the only thing about this. I'm I'm not really sure if it's my new computer or what, but the music doesn't kick in on the overworld as it, it quickly. Maybe maybe it did before. I'm just not really sure. Anyways, now we got fishing line. We can use that. Can you use this as bowstring for your, uh, lunar cannon? Let me see that. Oh, yeah, that gonna work good. Perfect. All right, listen up. I got us what we need. And now we finish this damn cannon. Go to work, people. Give us a few minutes, lady, and we'll be all done. Oh, okay. Time passes. Got a good feature. It worked. Of Yay! course it worked, you wood brain fool. I built it. No, you did. Liar. Are you done? Yes, ma'am. The lunar cannon is now ready to be tested. Well? Well what? Are you going to do it? Do what? Test the cannon. cannon. Me? And get myself killed? I think not. But go ahead, be my guest. I don't think I'll fit in there. That ain't my problem. Oh, I need out of you. Yup, the cannon is done. I feel like sleeping for a year or two. Please don't. <laughs> what about and you? All done. And Wick did absolutely nothing. As usual, aside from shouting a lot and kicking mine in Woody's arse. According to Wick, it's a lunar cannon. Apparently, it's powerful enough to send a stick man to the moon. <laughs> oh, sure. In a Jules Verne novel, perhaps. I haven't read a Jules Verne in forever. I used to, I, I read like the made for kid versions of uh, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea and, uh, no, that was H.G. Wells' Time Machine. I forgot, I almost got confused. H.G. Wells' Time Machine and then there was, wait, was Jules Verne uh, War of the Worlds or that H.G. Wells again? Can I test oh, I the cannon? Remember. Be my guest. Hmm. We need something to test the cannon. Wait a minute. I think we've got what it needs to make a grappling hook. There we go. The rope's got a hook-shaped fishbone tied to it. I'll just place the hook along the bowstring, like so, and let the rope trail behind it. Okay, we're ready to fire. Fire in the hole! 
Can I test the cannon? Be my guest. Oh, no. Uh, uh, oh, oh, never. Fire the hole! Oh, nice shot. <laughs> right to it, April. Oh, hello. That, uh, that's it's a leathery creature with wings, like a mix between a giant bat and a pterodactyl. It must be one of the elation. It looks more like a warrior than a storyteller, though. I hope it speaks English. Uh, I mean, all tongue. An uh, updraft. Interesting. There's a slight updraft here. The wind is channeled through that chasm down there and blown out and up here. Huh. Volcanic key. Hello. What's up this road? The Alation village of Tama. Tama, okay. Can you help me across? You are human, and we don't allow human strangers into our village. Okay. If you wish to trade, let us know where your ship is anchored, and we will send traders to you with our merchandise. I don't have a ship, and I didn't come here to trade. I came to talk to your leaders. I'm sorry, but we don't allow strangers into our village. Hmm. I see I'm a trader. Uh, is there another, another way? way to get into the volcano? No. This pass is the only way. Hmm. I'm sure there's a secret cave somewhere that leads into the volcano. No, there isn't. There's always a secret cave. Not here. Damn. I absolutely Are you sure? absolutely sure there's no secret cave? Human, you talk too much, even for an elation. Well. Actually, I am a trainer. Do, do. Where is your ship anchored? In, um... Coconut Grove? <laughs> There's no coconut grove on Elias. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's, I'm, I'm, okay. Considering this game... I'm going to have to guess that's a reference to something. My guess would be maybe it's a reference to Monkey Island. Because it was the whole reference with uh, Guybrush at the beginning. The monkey. So I'm not a traitor. So I'm not a traitor. But I am a friend of the Alation people. Oh, that's we don't know you. There is no friendship between strangers, human. Mm. Don't your people have a prophecy about a stranger who comes without a ship? Or something like that? I don't know of any prophecies, human. Well, fine. What kind of prophecies do you know about? We don't tell our stories to strangers. Where's the Alation village of Tama? Up this road and into the volcano. Isn't it dangerous to live inside a volcano? Considering this a volcano has not erupted for thousands of years, and the gods protect us. Oh, yeah. We are safe here. The gods Thank are going to really yes, help you. Yes, but you must leave rough. now. You know what? No. Not. Because we need to get up there. How do we, How you ask? Well, we've got potions. Light as a leaf. And oh, now. God, I think I'm going to throw up. That was so not appetizing. Weirdest thing, though. I do feel lighter. Like I lost 90 pounds. I can't even imagine what people would pay for this stuff back home. Whoa, I'm flying! Not. I guess I still weigh too much to be carried on that slight updraft. Hmm. No. But we do have wind potion. What was that? Oh, bind magic. Okay. So, pour a little bit into the wind. That's the last of it, unfortunately. Damn. Ah! What? Ah, da, 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 da. That, okay, that's not the most graceful flying I've ever seen. Uh. Human, you flew across the chasm. You don't have wings, but still, you fly like the elation. Then you fly Believe very me, badly. I'm as shocked as you are. <laughs> are you the windbringer? I'm considering that the elation are probably related to the mayor. This is probably the equivalent of there. <laughs> I know you are, but what am I? 
What's the Windbringer? It's a prophecy amongst my people. Of course, there's no escaping the prophecies. It's said that someone not of the elation shall come among us to float on the wind like an elation, to learn our stories, to bring the wind back to us, and to bring us into a new and happier age. Is that all? You know, I'm starting to forget how simple my life used to be. Family, friends, grades, boys, no prophecies, nobody looking to me for salvation. Except our life. I don't understand, Windbringer. You should speak with our teller up in the city. She'll be wanting to see you, I'm sure. We've waited for the Windbringer for a very long time. I'm sure you have. The teller? Thanks. No, Windbringer. Thank you. Well, now we got passage. Up we go! And welcome to the Elysian Village! But that's gonna have to wait. Cause I think I've recorded for quite a while now. So this is gonna be quite a few videos and I need to edit in all those little movie clips and whatnot. Anyways! So, um, I will see you next time! Uh, probably next time I'll be showing you the game that I, uh, I will be getting. So, until then, bye-bye.